Welcome guys to Jojo Coco Studio. Now today we're going to be talking about the MSI H270 Gaming M3 motherboard. Now I'm going to be doing an overview of this motherboard and also do a quick post and see how it looks like when it lights up. Now let's get started guys. So guys, if you're looking for a motherboard that you're not planning to overclock your CPU and also getting like a very good decent quality motherboard that doesn't break your bank account, this is probably one of the interesting options. So, um, as I've, as I've, uh, made some small research, uh, this motherboard falls into the enthusiast category where MSI has, uh, four different categories. This one is the enthusiast gaming motherboards over here. We have the pro, the, we have the performance gaming as well, Arsenal gaming and the pro series as well. I'll, uh, I'll do like a quick screenshot at the end of the video if you guys really want to check it out some other motherboards by MSI. Now, of course, I'm sure you already know that this motherboard supports the KB Lake or Sky Lake CPUs as well. So if you're in 2017 looking for a new motherboard, check it out. Now we'll start off with the uh, box itself. So there's not much going on around here, especially on the sides and stuff like that. We'll quickly go through at the back of the box and see what of the interesting features they have. So obviously this is uh, yeah VR ready. We got some really good uh, ethernet connections over here. We're using DDR4 RAM as well. And also we have the gaming app as well where you can control the CPU, GPU and things like that. And um, yeah, the rest of the things is pretty much the, the, the standard MSI stuff. So we got some really good audio, audio quality, some steel armor on the VGI, I mean VGA uh, graphics card uh, slot holder, some good USBs and some really X boost, uh, uh, I don't know, user scenario things. So feel free to pause anytime if you want to look at the specifications. Okay. And on the right hand side is the image itself, uh, the motherboard, which I will unbox this for you guys later. And last but not least, we've got the IO ports uh, diagram over here. So feel free to pause that as well. Okay. Okay. So Okay, that's about it for the box. So let's really dig into to the product or the box itself. Okay. Okay, so first things first, we obviously have the motherboard, which I'll uh, put this on the side for a second. And let's see what else it comes in the box as well. Uh, we have, what do we have here? We have uh, CDs, the driver CDs, but obviously it will be really nice if you download the drivers from the internet better. Uh, we got some uh, some labeling cables stickers, so which is quite interesting to to use if you're you know if you lose track of what cables are from and things like that. We also got some nice thank you thank you card by MSI product, and ah we have a quick installation guide which I'll uh, probably check it out later when I do a uh, a build on this motherboard, but um, I'll show you that in later. And last but not least, we've got the uh, the user manual, which uh, obviously this manual supports all three different types of uh, motherboards, Z270, H270, and B250 as well, gaming M3. Okay, so I guess I'll be you know using this for when when we um, install like a PC together. On the right hand side, we got a bunch of cables and things like that. So um, this is for the the I guess this is for the LED. Uh, connectors and things like that and what else do we have here we've also got some SATA cables as well one of them is right right angled uh, cables and the other one is just a nice straight looking ones okay so that's good we've uh, got a nice looking IO shield as well this seems to be like the, the black and white theme so that looks excellent on you know if you have a black and white theme and last but not least we've got a, a really nice looking sticker so if you want to stick this onto the PC case. That'll be really excellent. Okay, so I guess that's it for the box and uh, let's check out the product itself. All right guys, now let's take the motherboard out from the static bag and check it out. It looks really nice overall. I really like the black and, and red theme going on. As you can see that there's like lines going around and it's like digitally like designed. Well, I don't know what that means. Okay, so let's just start off with um, yeah the side over here. So as we can see, we have this really nice looking um, cover of the IO ports. And um, yeah, obviously it says gaming M3. 
and uh, on the on the right hand side it, it also shows us like another like cover of the heat sink as well this is plastic by the way but underneath is a heat sink okay it's a really nice design and uh, we've we've also got this uh, small bridge over here that connects to this uh, plastic cover on the heat sink as well very excellent design and um, obviously we can see that uh, this this socket supports 1151 the KB Lake or Sky Lake uh, socket okay and we got some excellent uh, DDR4 RAM slots that uh, supports up to 64 gigabytes of RAM okay so uh, if you're using the Sky Lake uh, I think it goes up to 2133 megahertz but if you're using the KB Lake I think I believe it's 2400 I don't know but uh, yeah uh, I'll, I'll do some more research on that and over here we have the really nice looking chipset the H270 chipset so uh, I guess this is uh, yeah I can feel that this is nice this is already cold because I, I guess this is the heat sink itself it's very nice um, over here we have a bunch of uh, SATA connectors okay so this is for your hard disks or your SSDs and um, ah, we can see that there's a USB 3.0 header over here. So this can be connected to your case as well. So we got some, uh, yeah, the standard 24 pin over here. And we got this really nice feature, the easy debug LED. So if there's something wrong with the, with the build, for example, maybe um, the VGA card is, uh, is uh, messed up or like not properly installed or the boot, or the RAM or the CPU not correctly installed these lights will light up so that's very very useful okay uh, what else uh, we have uh, oh, okay so this is uh, I think what we mentioned earlier is the steel armor steel armor um, uh, VGA slot holder so this this is where you put your graphics card and apparently this is like extra strong because it's made out of metal right but that's very good we also got some uh, PC Express slots as well. So I guess you can put this, uh, maybe your wireless adapters, things like that. You got another slot for your graphics card. So I guess if you want to crossfire, you can do this on your motherboard, but unfortunately you can't do SLI configuration on this board, okay? And um, we got some M.2 slot. So I guess if you want to really go for the speedy uh, SSDs you can use the M.2 slot and maybe in the future and um, over here you have another M.2 slots over here so that's that's excellent okay and over here we have the audio boost which is probably a very decent sound quality we got the usual uh, audio headers and system fans and things like that and also another USB 3.0 connector over here as well okay and uh, I'm assuming that this is the where you connect all the uh, the power switch, reset switch, and the uh, hard drive LEDs and things like that. So I think that's the JFP1, if I remembered correctly. Okay. So that's that overall. The motherboard itself. We uh, okay. Okay. Let's check out the I/O ports. We've got the PS2 a traditional mouse keyboard. If you still have those some uh, I'm assuming that this is a USB 2.0 because it's black we got DVI ports we have a USB 3.0 uh, over here as well USB type C that's pretty good we have some uh, onboard uh, graphics card as well so oh sorry this uh, this is on board as well and yeah this is the HDMI uh, port as well more USB 3.0s the Ethernet uh, connector which is I think apparently they call it the killer Ethernet yep and we got some five audio jacks the red one is probably for your headphones or speakers and last but not least we got the optical out over here okay so overall that's a very very nice looking motherboard I, I'm really liking this already this is excellent let's um let's check out at the back of the board okay Wow, that that's very impressive actually. Unfortunately, we don't get to see this because most case hide the the back of the board, but check it out. It looks really nice. I really like the design of this board. 
I really like how like this like red lines. It seems that it's like connecting to each other. It's all like working to each other, but it's like red veiny lines. But yeah, it looks really nice. I like it. Okay. So overall, this is the H270 Gaming M3 motherboard. And um, my first impression, yeah, it looks it looks great. It looks like a very decent uh, motherboard. Well, the appearance, right? But um, okay, so overall, uh, um, it seems to be excellent. And um, what is this? Oh, we have a system fan over here as well. Oh, sorry, guys. I uh, nearly forget to mention we just if you want to know but this is the the cpu cpu um, power over here okay and we have the cpu fan over here as well all right guys so i guess uh this is pretty much about the motherboard itself excellent looking and um let's do a quick post and see if this guy works and apparently there are some leds going on around here or some red lights but i'm not exactly sure where it is but Let's find out together and see how it looks when it when it successfully boots up. So guys, as we can see that we've uh, connected everything from the power supply to the motherboard. Obviously, we've uh, installed the CPU, the RAM, put in the 24 pin power connector, the CPU power itself, and the CPU fan, okay? And obviously the, uh, the HDMI out so that we can see what's going on on the screen. And um, all we have to do now is just uh, turn this guy on. So if you guys don't know how to do this, all you just simply have to do is like get like a screwdriver or something. Make sure that you touch the plus and minus of the switch over here. So just simply just touch it here. Okay. And it's not working. Oh, the reason why it's not working? Because the power supply is not even on. Haha. -ha. Now we do it. Ah. Okay, guys. Now let's see our first post with this. Wow, that's pretty cool. Hey, you can see my reflection. Okay. First post success. No problems with the CPU. It's all good. So I guess this is what you see when you first uh, go into the BIOS. We can see that the temperature of the CPU is 31. And yeah, I'm using a Skylake right now. So uh, Skylake 3.3 uh, 3 at 65. Actually, no, wait, not 65, 6600. Okay. So let's check out, at, let's check out the board itself. So uh, maybe it's best to turn this light off so we can see more. Maybe we can turn everything, all the lights out. So let's see, like, in the dark. Wow. So I guess, ah, there you go. We have those nice looking red LEDs going down over here. And uh, not much going on on the side. Ah, uh, we have the easy debug LED light on. That's because there is no boot. Excellent. Okay, let's turn the back. I mean, let's turn the lights back on. Okay. What else do we have? Wow, we also got some uh, some red red LEDs going on at the back of the I/O ports. Uh, I guess that's the the LAN and the USB 3.0. Wow, it looks really nice. And again, we're seeing this red LED on the side of the board as well. This is an excellent looking board, actually. I really like it. I'm, I'm really liking this right now. Okay, 
So guys, I, I guess this uh, really wraps up everything. And uh, yeah, the reason why I'm doing just like a, a simple post on this motherboard is because I'm waiting for the parts to, to come. I'm missing a, a KB Lake CPU and a, and a case. And I'm probably going to use like one eight megabyte for eight, eight gigabytes of RAM for now. But like, um, yeah, guys, uh, stay tuned for uh, more Coco, I mean, Jojo Coco Studio videos. I'll definitely be doing a build on this one, probably, you know, naming the video the KB Lake build or something. That should be really awesome. And uh, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, uh, if you like this video, please press the like button. And if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. So uh, just, uh, yeah, well, uh, I'll catch you later, guys. Okay, bye.